welcome back to another video. Oh my God, y'all, my hands. Oh, when I tell you this body hurt, this body hurts so bad. I don't, I can't even describe the head to toe, but that's not going to stop me though. I hurt every day whether I'm doing something or I'm not doing something. So, but we've been having so much rain and dampness and excuse me um it's much needed rain but it's definitely taking me down through there head to toe anyway hope everybody is doing well welcome back to a new vlog y'all i have finished the wall as you saw in the last vlog and i oh, excuse me i have started on tyler's wall in the loft Y'all, that's going to be so easy. Like I said, this one with the way the steps came down, sloped, came down, sloped. I had to cut so many holes and then big holes so that I can go and maneuver around the wood beam or the wood post or whatever stud that's in there and kind of dig a little divot in there and put the cord in so that I can drywall it. Anyway, that was a big project. Also, extra holes because I did not know the dynamics inside of our walls. Now I'm familiar with what the builder has done, even with the junction box. So it's made it easy for me to maneuver around it. I do have a video with um, walking through the house when it has studs. Some parts weren't clear like the steps. Um, I guess there was nothing to look at over there, so I kind of breezed past. So I kind of had to guess a little bit on that. The one upstairs, I pulled up the video. I could see that the junction box for the cord is on the right side. So I went straight up on the right side, cut the hole. Already put the box in before Tyler went to class. Um, it took me all of 10 minutes to do that. Fed the wire through. Um, so now at the outlet, I cut. Uh, a hole at the side so there's really one hole one hole that I'll need to patch up in there and that makes me so happy and I have to do that only because of the way that the the boxes that the builder used um, the new ones that come uh, let me show you you probably don't know what I'm talking about if you do you do if you don't I'm gonna show you hold on one second so in here these are the new boxes that I am using right here. So you knock this back and you feed your wires through there. Um, and then these have screws in them and flaps. So these flaps go into the drywall. Once you have the box in there, you screw this down and this pops up. And this is what keeps it from coming out. But I also leave enough drywall so that I can also secure this one and this one just because um anyway um so the one that the builder uses aren't the straightforward ones like that if that was the case I would be able to slide it out and replace it easily the builder used the ones that nail through the side into the stud so there's no way to remove that nail just pulling it out it won't come out so you have to cut a piece to the side long enough to be able to hammer the nail back in because like I told you our builder put in clamps after after putting in some of the wire most of them are clamped so you can't get this puppy out if you wanted to um, thus you're going to tear the whole damn wall open and do, you know, cut everything. I'm not doing all that. So I just simply cut a hole to the side and, um, which I'll show you when Ty's out of class. He has two classes. Uh Oh, yeah, that's my automatic, automated. Oh gosh. I'm so tight. Automatic light. Okay. So then all I did was cut a nice little hole right there. Um, 
that I'll have to just patch that one. There's one hole at the top, which this went in, so there's no patchwork, nothing needing to be done up there. And then nothing like this wall here that I had to like literally gouge holes in and patch them. Um, so it was quick and easy. I fed the wire. So now the wire is just kind of sitting there. It's all still wrapped up. It's not like opened or anything. It's not hot. So I just fed the wire through there. So when he gets out of class, I'm going to wire the light fixture up here and then open up the wire and do my thing in the box and then patch that hole. And that's going to be that simple and easy. It was so quick to get this up there and feed the wire. It made no sense how quick and easy that was. So like I said, this house is going to have sconces. <laughs> I told my husband, I said, you do realize. Now, I've never done that extent of wiring before. I've literally um, put all our light fixtures, like our pendants, I wired all of those in, but those are already pre-wired. I've never run a wire through the wall, done that type of situation. It's not hard. It really isn't. I'm not, it's not hard. You just need to know what you're doing. And I'm very familiar with wiring and things like that. So I'm very comfortable when it comes to touching a wire. And I'm, I'm so extra. I not only use caps, but I electrical tape them, them caps around so they don't have any chance of flicking off when I push everything back. Mm -mm, your girl is extra, extra. So trust that. So anyway, I'll show you that when Ty gets out of school. But I am getting ready to put some pork steaks into the slow cooker. Um, I wanted to get that done and have that cooking for dinner. So I'm about to grab some onions and green pepper, slice those up. I also am hungry. It is 1013. It is almost time for my medicine again. I can't take it till 11, so I'm trying to push through but it may not be 11. It's probably very much going to probably be 10, 20. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these pork steaks set and get some rice going. So dinner will be cooking and ready for tonight. So I will have a nice, easy night because y'all, that wall took me out. This wall took me out, but it looks so beautiful. It really does. Um, on the wall over there so anyway yeah let's let's go ahead and get these steaks set and put in the slow cooker
right, fam, I put that on low. It's only 1030, so I literally have forever. So we have to eat that for dinner. So I just put it on low, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and make me a sandwich and sit down for a minute until Ty's out of class. And I can start on his light. I'm so excited to see it up there. Um, so, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so here is the box. I already started to assemble the light fixture, which is right here. So that silver bracket is from this light fixture. Here is a little hole that I cut, and as you can see, I ran the wire through right there because my junction box is right here. So you see this little nail? You wouldn't be able to take that out if you don't go through the side. So I do have a small hole that I can patch up pretty easily and uh, have access to this because I'll be taking this face off, but I need to be able to pull that nail out of there to um, move the box forward so that I can feed this wire behind it. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get this light fixture put together. Ideally, you want to do this part, but I'm going to go ahead and do this part first. show you guys how I do it now an electrician will probably more than likely say you absolutely don't need to wrap it after the cap is on however I am NOT a licensed electrician our family lives here and I am going to take every necessary precaution knowing that I did this to make sure I am being as safe and covering all bases. I don't want to push my light fixture back 
and the cap come off because I pushed it too rough, I can't see behind that box once I push it back. And let's say the cap comes off and the wires touch and cause a fire. No, I like to be proactive instead of reactive. So I will show you how I do it. So once I have secured the wire, I cut it down to size so that both of the wires are in this yellow cap and then twist it. And then I then seal the yellow cap in the wire a little bit down to make sure it doesn't have any chance of coming off and touching any other wire. So that's just how I do it. Just again, to be safe for our family. So you, if you do it, you do it the way you feel safe. This is the way I feel safe. All right, let's, let's continue on. Y'all, this is how I have to work. He sits under everything. The ladder was just there. All right, so the light is up. Now it's time for me to cut the electricity off and um, begin the bottom part. Good morning, everyone. Fam. Happy Saturday. Y'all, I literally torture myself. I sand it down. The wall again because it kept looking the texture looked kind of mushy and I'm like why is it mushy why does it look like that y'all I forgot to prime the wall so I sanded it down I'll show you that and I'm gonna start again I don't know why I do this to myself I can see imperfections and things that other people do and it not bother me but if I do it Mm -mm. But anyway, um, I don't know if I showed you Ty's light. So there's his light. Let me turn it on. So like I told you guys, I didn't have to do like a whole bunch of holes, just like one big one at the bottom next to the outlet. And I did explain to you guys why I had to do that. But here's his light. Oh, now, I love this. I love this saying on this picture. But now this light calls for a beautiful art piece up here. So I'm going to be looking for that. And like I said, I love it being wired in because literally he keeps it on all night until he goes to bed. He absolutely loves it. He said it makes him feel cozy and, you know, so he thoroughly enjoys it. And I don't have to worry about plugging it in or how long he keeps it on because I got to plug it in. So I absolutely love that. Let me show you guys the hole um, that I had to make and patch up. So I had to let it dry overnight because um, I need to make, make sure it actually stuck um, the way I patched it. Um, I did stick my finger in it because I thought I was dry, but I can sand that down. <laughs> let me show you guys. All right, so this is the hole. So it's thoroughly dry now. Um, there's my fingerprints. Actually, I kind of still feel it, to be honest. I want to do one more coat over it because you see where it's... Yeah, that's probably from when I was pressing it in. 
but it's pretty much to see this part all of that is where it opened up so it just needs like one more coat um, well, I might just prime it because the texture will go over top of that and the primer will fill in those gaps. So I may just sand it down and prime it. It should be fine. But that's the only place that I had to do that. Up there was a simple cut. Like I said, I can, you know, I had some clips of um, what's in some of the walls. So I was able to see exactly what side the junction box is on. And so I just followed it up and put it right there. But yeah, you guys, now this calls for an absolutely beautiful art piece over here. So I will be on the hunt for that. But let me show you guys downstairs what I did in there. I mean, yeah, down there. So the, the drywall's absolutely flat. Like, it was a wonderful job I did on that, if I do say so myself. It's totally flat, totally flat. There's no lumps. Let me show you. So you can see there's no lumps on the drywall. And down here, I was a little unsatisfied. I felt like I might have seen a little bulge. So I sanded that down. Now everything is ready for primer and the primer sits for an hour and then I can paint, which I'm probably going to have to paint the whole wall because um, when you do doing, even when they mix paint, sometimes it's just not the same and the dust and air and life on the walls kind of fade it to a different color. So probably going to repaint the whole wall but that's what that looks like covered up my girl and down there all right so i'm going to go ahead and get these walls primed and then i got to make or change time the sheet i've already changed y'all i just absolutely love our bedroom it's like inspired me to like change out different pieces like I saw an ottoman there's nothing wrong with this one but I saw an ottoman that would like elevate this space so much and um I saw some lights that I could hang actually from the ceiling I don't know I don't know I do love my lamps so I may not do that I may go with uh, what I truly wanted to do was have a light just kind of come down over the headboard a little bit. I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. But all right, I'm going to get busy on priming um, the wall. And my battery is on anyway, so I need to charge this phone up a little bit. And then I will come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's actually done because you've seen the process so this time i'm redoing what i did before only with primer so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right fam so i am gonna make us some sandwiches i have begun to love making um sandwiches through um sometimes through the week but mostly on the weekends or when my hubby is home because it's a great thing to have in between meals so i don't have to worry about if he's hungry at lunchtime having to stop what i'm doing and you know make something to eat so sandwiches are very handy and they usually last about two days for us Trouble in 
wanna be your bride Wanna be I wanna give our love away So you're not letting me Yeah Get through to you Yeah If you let it go down, baby This is what I'll do making the sandwiches i am going to clean up i'm sorry guys i don't know what happened to my voice all of a sudden but now it wants to be hoarse now that i'm doing the voiceover anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get the kitchen wiped down after making the sandwiches It is time to put away those dishes that I just washed and also I need to empty out the dishwasher. Um, we pretty much run the dishwasher if not every day then we definitely run it every other day. How often do you guys run your dishwasher if you use it at all?
to go ahead and bleach and clean the little cover lid that sits inside of the microwave. fam so now i am going to spray this centiva i absolutely love the smell of that stuff i can't remember what fragrance that is but i absolutely love it so i'm going to go ahead and get the countertops wiped down and then i think right after that we're going to need to sweep this floor Listen fam, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love vacuuming, but listen, there is nothing like sweeping your floor. Guaranteed if you vacuum your floor and then you grab the broom and go over the same area, you will still find dust. A broom just gets in those corners and crevices that the vacuum just can't reach i'm sorry guys that's my phone gone off again so i do like to go in and sweep the floor as well as vacuum
guys if you've been here with me for a while you know how I get down with cleaning my chicken if I have to say that there's one thing I dread about making chicken is always having to clean it I love to prepare it love to eat it but mm, I get so sick and tired of cleaning chicken it is just so filthy I think it's jealousy but hell with it still look a melody or maybe I got problems
chicken is frying. I'm making some food for Colby, so I just have a chicken in there and some rice to put down together and a bone from something we ate uh, last night. Um, the wall is just about dry after the texture. It takes such a long time for it to dry, but it looks like it's almost dry. It's when it's all clay, so you see just a few dark spots, but it's almost dry. Um, once it's dry, then I can paint it and be done with it. So I will show you guys the food when it gets done. Um, after that, I'm going to call it a night and watch a movie. I don't think I'm going to paint tonight. I don't really feel like it. So I will paint probably in the morning. It'll have some extra time to dry. Um, I have my hands in paint enough today. So I don't feel like redoing it and re-cleaning up. So it's probably going to be a tomorrow thing. I mean, not lie because I really probably will do it tonight. So we'll see but I'll show you the end result Alright Pam, so when we took the baby Kobe to the doctor, he was 132 pounds and the doctor said out of the scale of 1 to 10 he was 8. So we bought a healthier food for him and then I also make, um, because I usually mix his food in with like a canned food, like a wet kind of mixed in with the dry so now instead of using the canned food I just go ahead and make him something homemade that we can mix in with the food y'all he my baby only eats twice a day he just a big boy
this is actually present me realizing that I never showed you guys the final of the lights um, this is this one because you see that I sanded it down a little bit more in the video so it looks really good um, I know the light is on it but it looks really really good um, and I did down there again so I'm very happy with how everything you know turned out uh, now um, I've got to master that texture though that texture is <laughs> is a beast I'm gonna take you upstairs really quickly um, so that you can see the one in the loft I'm glad it's nighttime because now you get to see the nighttime view of the wall sconces so here is the one over Tyler's desk I can't wait to find a beautiful picture to put there but that's what this looks like uh, so beautiful so beautiful I'm gonna turn this other light off so it gives quite a bit of light just enough let me show you down here where I could have I just cut a big hole right next to the outlet but everything looks good and seamless so I'm very happy with how that turned out like I said it was going to be a little bit easier because I didn't have so the hole the hole was all the way down because I had to get a hammer in there so it was pretty a long rectangle hole there so worked out really really well um, again this is the switch turns it off turns it on so I didn't have to run a light switch which I didn't want to do and mess up really the aesthetic of the wall I just it's the same situation you just kind of run it but I didn't I really didn't want a light switch on the walls that's why I looked for it another option but yeah you guys this is it I'm so happy oh I did do something else in Tyler's room but I guess I'll save that for the next video um so I'm gonna say good night I hope you all enjoyed the video if you are new to the Rose fam I want to welcome you and thank you again for subscribing and joining the fam and my loyal i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching Baby, stop telling me lies.